60% of business people in this day and age are, are disorganized. The average business person receives 190 requests for their time and energy every day. And because of that overwhelming number of requests, the average business person wastes 150 hours a year looking for stuff. Now, that doesn't mean standing in front of a filing cabinet going, where's that file? I'm talking about whacking the top of the desk and looking at things going, it was here just a minute ago, I just had it. 150 hours a year. If you add 10 hours to that, that's an entire work month. The thing is, is that humans are very distractible. And we think other people interrupting us is what takes away all of our time. In reality, the most expensive interruption there is, is when you interrupt yourself. So I'm going to give you three simple um, questions to ask yourself when you're trying to decide about any piece of anything, whether or not you should keep it. All right, because we don't have rules. That's why we, you know, we get this thing and we go, oh, I might need this someday, right? And then we set it down and there start the piles, right? So here are the three questions that you need to ask yourself about everything. Question number one, if I throw this away, will I get arrested? Because we all have those things, right? You need to have the tax returns, you need to have the passport, you need to have the, the certification, the license, whatever. We need those things, all right? The interesting thing about those things is they almost never need to be anywhere near you. They probably don't even need to be in your office. You just need to know where they are, okay? So, question number one, will I get arrested? Question number two, and this one is the real key question. Have I used it in the past six months? Or do I know exactly how I'm going to use it in the next six months? You will be absolutely stunned that 95% of the stuff that you have will not pass that rule. Leaving something out to remind you is better than remembering, but it's still a really lousy technique, okay? And very stressful and very messy, right? You walk in, you look at that mess, and you're overwhelmed, aren't you? Because studies have shown that the human brain can comfortably comprehend, arrange, and manage kind of a sunrise to sunset time frame. Okay, if it gets any broader than that, like a week at a glance, it starts to get too abstract. And our, our, you know, our eyes kind of see it, but it's not really anything that we can manage. The other problem with memory is that what happens is we are always worried about the things we forgot and worried about the things we need to remember. And the only, I mean, I'm not gonna go all weird and Buddhist on you, but the only place where life occurs is in the moment, right? It's right now. But if all you can do is worry about the things that you forgot and worry about the things you need to remember, you're never in the moment, are you? You're always in the past or the future. So if you get it off your desk and out of your head, the greatest gift that you will receive is that there will be nothing in here. And that is such a relief. So the average business person receives 190 pieces of information a day. And they also waste 150 hours every year looking for stuff. So if you add another 10 hours to that, you've got an entire work month. So imagine employers are paying their employees an entire month just to look for things. 60% of business people are in overwhelm. And 87% of business people questioned said that they needed, not wanted, but needed less stress in their jobs. We have created an absolutely hostile business environment. I am by nature disorganized, and that's what qualifies me to help the disorganized get organized. The majority of organizers are organized people to start with, and they operate very, very differently from the disorganized. Organized people enjoy it, disorganized people don't. And so what I've done is I've created a system to help the disorganized get organized. It's a system they'll use, it's easy to maintain, and it's simple to set up. The Order From Chaos system is a complete system. It covers everything. 
Where people get into trouble is when they have holes in their system. One of the nicest things that happens to me is that after a seminar, I will frequently have people come up to me and say, I felt I was organized. But after listening to you talk, I realize that there are holes in my system and there are things that I can use. And I take that as the highest compliment. The Order from Chaos system is a six-step system. It's very simple, it's very easy to implement, and easy to maintain. Step one is what I call the cockpit office. The cockpit office is merely setting up your office in zones based on frequency of use. Step number two is air traffic control. Air traffic control gives you a single radar screen. It's a way to write everything down, write it down in one place, and write it down in a time-sensitive manner. Step three is the pending file. It's simply a file where you can put all of the odd bits that have no other home. The trick is it has to be written down in air traffic control. Step four, now we're getting into the psychology of organizing. Step four is decide now. Decide now is basically asking yourself every time the information comes at you, what's the task? Step five is prioritize ongoingly. Figure out what matters to you, what's important, and stick to that from the beginning of your day to the end of your day. Last of all is step six, which is plan your day work your plan, end your day, shut your brain off, and clean off your desk at the end of the day. And that's it. It's simple and it works.